Hi, I'm Nitish Gupta. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate an implementation of A star and a uh, Q learning algorithm. Uh, I'll be using this grid world, uh, which I have implemented in TKinter library of Python. Uh, let's go ahead and run the A star first. Um, it asks me for if you want to create a new map. I'll go ahead and create a new map for this time. Okay, I'll create it 10 by 10 grid. Uh, I'll place the start here and uh, go somewhere here and just once you created the map just close this window uh, another window pops up with your map and different controls T uh, before playing it uh, I would suggest to decrease the speed a little bit we're using math and distance for this time let's play it okay so it has expanded the cells in a horizontal and then vertical fashion that's how math and distance work let's go ahead and run a different map with e Euclidean distance okay so I'll, this time I'll use a predefined map. Um, I have a lot of maps here, so I'll use this one. Okay. So I'll just increase the speed and change this to Euclidean distance. I'll play this now. So as you can see, there was a direct path here if there was no wall. But since there this wall, it always tries to go from here. So if it doesn't find it expands all of these cells once it reaches here you can see that it follows it is following the diagonal path and there's no wall so it reaches the goal directly here um, on each cell you can see FGH value uh, I have also used uh, tie breaking scheme for the heuristic because uh, heuristic has same value in many of the cells so to um, distinguish between the two paths I've used tie breaking scheme Let's let's see that okay you can see the list uh, version of uh, these maps and expanded cells this is the original map the goal was found this is the action grid where I keep all the actions while moving so that while back propagating I can just reverse those actions and get the coordinates here's the uh, expanded uh, heuristic function you can see it's expanding in this direction uh, in this there is no tie breaking I have done the tie breaking inside uh, the search uh, function uh, where I calculate the expanded grid also so uh, the expanded grid is just a grid which have been which were yellow in the map so those were the expanded cell from here it moves diagonally so only those values are visible this is just a cost function which is also the G value uh, this is just a cost of moving from one cell to another and it adds up till the goal so here we have all the expanded cells and the uh, path coordinates. Um, that's about it. Um, let's go ahead and run the Q-learning algorithm now.